Welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkian Biersma, and today we have another, I think, a wonderful video to come because it's time for a blooming update. And it's always fun to make these videos and also the blooming updates. And also those videos are uh, uh, probably loved by a lot of viewers because those are uh, getting uh, quite often watched. So that's uh, very wonderful, of course. And uh, yeah, it's already uh, the end of May, so it's uh, really is time to make this uh, this update about blooms. With the fails, before I forget, I uh, recently did a uh, full video on all of them. So if you want to have a, a closer look at all the beautiful fails behind me, uh, check this video out, which I'm uh, going to link so, uh, so you can see them one by one. But you also will see that the video is fairly long. It's about 65 minutes. So I think it's a wonderful video. It's my best video so far here on my YouTube channel. But it takes too much time to include all of these blooms of the fails in these types of videos. So I'm just showing them quickly uh, because I uh, really, uh, really enjoy them. I really enjoy the colors, but that's why I don't go uh, buy them one by one. Because yeah, like I said, it's just taking up too much time. Anyhow, uh, welcome by this blooming update. I'm going to grab the camera and we're just going to start because uh, we have quite a few in bloom. Oh. So I thought let's start in this section with my Miltonias because the first uh, blooms are uh, arriving. <laughs> well, this is my uh, Flevevskens, Flevsens, however you want to call it. Let's uh, quickly grab the tag. So you know which one it is. And as you can see, we have uh, quite, uh, quite some spikes to come. And just yesterday, I noticed that the first bloom is opened up. It's not that big, but I think it will get a little bit bigger. But anyhow, I love the color. That creamy yellow is so beautiful. And yeah, I think we have quite some uh, blooms to come. But this is uh, at least the first one for this year. Best blooming so far on this one. And that goes uh, also for this one. This is my Festiva. And look at the blooms, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful spikes here. And these are always open up fairly close to one another. But nonetheless, I think it's a beautiful show. And beautiful blooms. Absolutely stunning. I really, really enjoy my Miltonias as well. So Festiva, Miltonia Festiva, absolutely beautiful. And then over here I have another one. I did show this in the last update, but it wasn't fully open yet. This is the Bartley Schwartz White. Let me uh, show a close up of these beautiful flowers. If you compare them to the other two we just saw, you can see the different uh, shape. This is a little bit bigger and wider lip is a little bit different but it is a, a Miltonia for sure <laughs> let me back up a little bit so you can see beautiful beautiful spikes very very nice plant so those are the first from the uh, Miltonias then I have this one it's still in bloom and it's going over now it's the green carrot I believe but you can see the tips of the bloom so it's just a few blooms and then uh, this one is done blooming. Let me have a look over here because this one is also very beautiful. Very nice dark red colors. It's the uh, Bialara, there we go, Verona. Uh, no, not Verona, Torero, I'm sorry. Oops, there we go, Torero. That is this one. As you can see, also a very beautiful spike with beautiful, uh, beautiful blooms. So let's go over here. We are now in the dendrobium section. We still have the Nora Toconada. I did uh, repot it, but it's still beautiful in bloom and the new growths are growing. But yeah, it kept on blooming, luckily. I hope you can see it. It's fairly bright in the background. It's a very bright day, but I hope you can see the blooms. My camera always shows it a little bit darker than uh, on screen when I'm editing it, editing it. But anyhow, I hope it uh, will uh, do well. <laughs> Spring Eclipse, it's Dendrobium phenoliopsis. It's still in bloom. 
not a very big spike because when it started these spikes it uh, was fairly cold and the, these do not like the cold and even some blooms on this one I'm sorry it's very very bright today but yeah this one is still in bloom as well not for that long I think anymore this is the spectabile cross as you can see also it's getting darker dark tips on the petals and sepals so it's almost done blooming but still it's here <laughs> and this is the polar fire beautiful spike as well I'll exit two the one in the back is uh, almost done blooming and here are the nobly types and look still a beautiful cluster of orange blooms on the stardust firebird and this is the rain, rainbow dance the, yes rainbow dance let me turn it around absolutely beautiful so many flowers <laughs> and this one just opened up a few new buds <laughs> and then this one I did repot also when it was in bloom very tiny blooms oops I'm sorry I should put it down <laughs> like this I believe look at that that's the tip of my finger so it's that small ambience dendrobium ambience is this fairly new one let me check yeah march this year i did uh, repot it and it's still blooming it kept on blooming some leaves are a little bit damaged so i hope it will uh, yeah it does make a beautiful new growth so those new growths were already there and they had it a little bit too cold told this uh, was what the seller said so maybe that's a little bit of cold damage i'm not sure but the new uh, growth there in the back does seem uh, better healthier then over here well that's a hammer <laughs> look at this absolutely beautiful yeah i shouldn't lift them i'm sorry for the shaking but this spike is fairly heavy <laughs> this is the harvianum dendrobium harvianum of harvianum it just depends but yeah we still have quite some blooms it was in the bloom last time as well maybe that even the blooming update before that two months ago i'm not sure but i had quite some spikes on this and we have a new one here there and an old one as we can see but yeah it's beautiful those hairs on those blooms absolutely beautiful then over here hancockii still some blooms left also very pretty i think the bamboo orchid <laughs> really looks like bamboo but those beautiful yellow flowers i really like them i really do some fells <laughs> still quite a lot of them in bloom as you can see i love love the look of it absolutely beautiful but anyhow moving on i have a beautiful white cattleya here in bloom three blooms a hint of it's a little bit of a greenish color when it starts to open and then it gets a little bit more yellow creamy there in the lip but yeah i think it's beautiful and down here we have the young man golden boy still blooming very very bright orange blooms these are 
the Ivanagaras, <laughs> still in bloom, apple blossoms. I know they are called different now, but I, I just, Ivanagara still <laughs> for me. But yeah, beautiful. And the fragrance, very, very pleasant. Yeah. And then over here, my tripod is in the way. Let's move that. We have this beautiful yellow one. Said I do not have a name for this, but this one is a big favorite of mine. And look, we have quite some blooms on it. If they are a little bit longer here, or longer blooming, then they start to uh, get a little bit more green color. But when they just freshly opened, we have that beautiful bright, and there's a root in the way, <laughs> beautiful bright yellow. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Really enjoy these guys. And then black comments, still in bloom. Let me see if I can do a beautiful close up. Absolutely stunning. And I have two spikes, another one there. Absolutely beautiful. Upside down blooms, or they're more facing uh, upwards, I should say, <laughs> not upside down. Then an Ancelia Africana, still in bloom. It is this one. It's very uh, long spike. And we have some uh, flowers that are going over now, but we have still some, quite some fresh ones. There's this one. Also very beautiful, if you ask me. And then you guys, <laughs> look at this. That is the best spike ever for this one. It's huge and it's very, very heavy. This one is also doing very well, but this one uh, had those very uh, beautiful spikes already. But that one had only had a few blooms so far. But look at this. It's really, really top heavy. Let me get in a bit closer. And they start when they just open up a little bit smaller and then they grow. Look at this. This is my hand. Oops, I'm sorry for the shaking. There you go. Beautiful warm orange and reddish colors in there. I do not have a name for it. I did have it, but I couldn't, uh, I didn't write it down sadly, but I saw it somewhere in bloom. But anyhow, yeah, it's very, very heavy, <laughs> heavy spike. So beautiful. And we just saw it briefly already, but this one is also very beautiful. I only have a commercial name, it's something, Mocha, something. It's not really uh, a name, so. But nonetheless, I think it's beautiful. Both of them are very, very beautiful. So those are two Fendas that are currently blooming, but there are more to come. And while I'm getting stuck here, yes, there I am, with this one here, because the spikes are so long. <laughs> but this is for the next one. I did get stuck in one of the spikes. Epidendrums. Blooming. And more blooms. <laughs> and more epidendrum blooms. <laughs> and yes, more. <laughs> And then, that was Tolumni, I will go back to that one. Here we even have more blooms. Let me uh, give a look like this, a few beautiful, those clusters. But yes, here is the Tolumnia, Tequila Sunset. We think it is, very bright colors, absolutely beautiful. And let's don't forget this epidendrum this time and Michael McCarthy gave me the right name I had it listed as a uh, Thomas R but it's Thomas Art with double T and not an H <laughs> so it's Thomas Art or Art but anyhow beautiful bit strange blooms the shape of it but nonetheless I really really like it so we didn't forget that one. 
And I even have one bloom here on my Rene Marquez. And you can see it's starting to fade already, so it's not long for this world anymore. But anyhow, it's, I think it's still uh, kind of nice. I really like uh, the lip here. And then this Delamnia. I bought this one in bloom, so these are not my blooms, so to speak, but nonetheless, it's beautiful, I think. <laughs> Then let me have a look. Well, we have some fells here, just to quickly a, a few of them. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And the fragrance on this Leodora, look at this. So many blooms are open now. Absolutely beautiful. But anyhow, let's go uh, inside the orchid room. Whoops, I'm sorry for the beeping because we have still, we have some old blooms, but still it's some better blooms here <laughs> on my Miltonias. This is the Her Alexander, one fresh bloom over here. And then we have this beautiful red one. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? This is my favorite, I, that pattern on here, it's, and the color, the dark red purplish color, absolutely beautiful. If I really had to choose, I would choose this one <laughs> as my most favorite currently, but I love them all, of course. Look at this beautiful, strong spike on this one as well. Newton Falls, if I remember correctly. No, it's not Newton Falls, that's the neighbor. This is the Newton Falls, this is that one yeah the Newton Falls also a very pretty one with a beautiful pattern but yeah those blooms you guys <laughs> I love them absolutely love them we have a few more here those are going over but this one is still looking kind of okay <laughs> and then we have this one this one never had such a rich color in the blooms Two spikes, you can see another one there in the back. Yeah, that purple, or oh, that pink purple color. It's so strong, as I can say, I believe, this year. It's a very good sign, of course. And then this one, this is also very beautiful, I think. Look at that. Also a fairly huge spike. This has six blooms on it. But look at the blooms, the size. Absolutely beautiful. This might be the red tie, I'm not completely sure. But nonetheless, also very beautiful. Very, very beautiful, I believe. And then we have this Alkmaar, Odontoglossum Alkmaar, still in bloom. This one keeps on blooming and blooming and blooming. <laughs> one spike is going over. And then we have this one. Very wonderful colors in there as well. Let's have a look over here because here I have this beautiful yellow. Oops. I'm sorry, guys. Yellow uh, Mastavellian bloom. One is going over, and here is another one coming. Yeah. Some aphids, I believe, but. A very nice yellow one and I think this one is done yeah it's not really in bloom anymore and well the psycho is done <laughs> but this one is still beautiful look at that what a beautiful beautiful blooms it's the golden boy Prometalum Golden Boy. Beautiful. And then I have here Sunkiss Buttercup. The black dots are aphids. This one, uh, the aphids do love it sadly. So I keep spraying it. And then look at this. What a spike, right? 
absolutely stunning. And the blooms are so beautiful. Whoops, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Here we are. And let me check, do I have... No, I cannot reach the name tag. So if you want to know names, please let me know in the comment section below. I, I will not uh, grab every name tag because otherwise it's a little bit uh, distracting, I think. So please ask me and I will give the names if I have them. Here, look at this one. A red velvet. A very suitable name, if you ask me. It's a Nelly Eiler, Anse Dubs is Nelly Eiler. Red velvet. And yes, I keep saying it, but the fragrance is fantastic. <laughs> I love it. I know some people do not like it, but I absolutely love it. Katerina Zuck, or Zuck, however you want to call it. It's an Oncidium type. It's just starting to uh, open up on this spike. And then in the back we have only one bloom on this one, but still, it's very beautiful, I think. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So those are here. Let me move around. And here is everything done blooming so far. But this one isn't. This is Disturbic. Also a favorite of mine. Absolutely beautiful. And the Purpurea, Purpurea, Oncidium. Just some blooms left. We had quite some spikes on there. And over here, this beautiful orange, no ID, Odotoglossum type orchid, but it's beautiful. And it has one, two, three spikes. And we have some more blooms to come. <laughs> Let me see, over here we have this one still in bloom and I'm stuck again. Yeah, I'm free. <laughs> um, let me think, I knew the name, um, um, Pacific something, wasn't it? Oh, here's the tag. Yeah, Colmenara Catante. Beautiful, beautiful. And then over here, you guys, this is Puffio Petalum, the white one, still blooming. And <laughs> do you see that next to it? Lo and behold, we have a bud, but it's just, it just, I think, did fell off before filming. <laughs> I always have the Pinocchio, I just, <laughs> but anyhow, it's, uh, it's coming again. It's continuously blooming for over a year you guys it's absolutely amazing anyhow here she is fairly large bloom as you can see so I might have gotten one but <laughs> I think so far this is it for uh, for the update you guys so we have some uh, I don't know uh, did, yeah I don't know if you saw it but we have some uh, some spikes so I hope to have some new blooms for the next one as, uh, again. This is a beautiful season, as you can see. It's very bright. We have this beautiful day. So uh, I think we will uh, we'll get uh, more blooms here and also in the greenhouse. But anyhow, this is the update for now. And I did get a request from my Miltoni Uh I will do a uh, separate video on them. I already have it as a care collab, but I uh, will try to do an update soon because now they are beautiful blooming. But also here, as you can see, we have more spikes to come. This one is in spike. Those two are in spike. That one did bloom. That one did skip blooming. This one did bloom. And this one is just starting uh, to bloom. So most of them uh, at least did bloom. That one did bloom as well. So I think we are going uh, going very well with the Miltoniopsis. So yeah, I'm gladly uh, to talk about it and share my tips. So that's uh, hopefully for the near future, this video. Anyhow, if you still, uh, of course, have questions, please let me know. 
and I really hope you enjoy this video as well as uh, I did because I really like I said in the intro I really enjoy making these uh, videos so thank you for watching and if you like please give this video a like and maybe subscribe to the channel thank you so much and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos bye bye